Have you ever felt like you've been ready to pursue your dreams, but life just kept finding ways to hold you back from really doing anything about it? No? Oh, oh, oh. most of you have? Oh, well, good. I'm not the only one. This is exactly what I have felt for years at this point. When I was in the seventh grade, a friend showed me that he made it into a YouTube video about a basketball camp. Now, I didn't believe him because at the time I thought YouTube was populated only by professionals and film industry nerds. How wrong I was. Turns out, YouTube was a place for anyone, yes, even a weird kid like me, who could make videos that could reach people from all corners of the globe. When I heard that you could literally post any video of yourself on YouTube, I was mesmerized by the idea. I mean, I wasn't treading on any new revolutionary concept or anything. YouTube had been out for 12 years. 12 years! And I just realized that you could post your own videos on the internet. Yeah. Anyways, YouTube has been my dream job ever since. I mean, why wouldn't it be? You can literally work from anywhere, do anything you're passionate about, and at any time that you want. Who wouldn't want a job like that? So I started making videos, but life turned into the picture of my nightmares, throwing me curveballs left and right, causing me to strike out several times, taking months off of YouTube at a time. This was starting to become a major issue for me. This is the job I really wanted to do for a career. Nothing else even came close in my eyes. But how can I even get it to be stable and consistent. So there I was, senior year of high school was starting, and on top of my studies, I also had goals for my final basketball season. Not only that, but I was also heavily involved with the community, and something different was happening every week, it seemed like. And on top of everything, I was getting pressure to go to college and get a real job, find what I really wanted to do as a career, not this side hustle that won't even be here in a couple years. Yeah. Like that's gonna happen. Well, as senior year was winding down and my goals were being achieved, I was realizing something. If I set my mind on something, my competitive side, my mamba mentality will come out and I will achieve it no matter what it takes. So I decided that YouTube was truly the way to go and it felt good to finally know what I wanted to strive for as a career. Oh. It was going to be challenging, but I knew I could do it. Graduation was getting closer and closer. Three months, two months, one month, two weeks, a week, a day, and boom! I was finally a graduate. Out of school and on to bigger and better things. Ready to pursue my dream. So I started pumping out content like there was no tomorrow and grew my business into a worldwide phenomenon. But that's not what happened. I joined a construction company. What? This isn't what I wanted. Where did all that excitement for really going hard on YouTube go? Pause. <laughs> Major pause. Well, turns out life is not all sunshine and rainbows, and sometimes it'll do that to you. Throw you a curveball you weren't expecting. Now, don't get me wrong, the job was good. It was a good paying job, and the guys on the crew were great, some of whom might even see this video, but construction? That was not what I wanted to do. Where was that passion, that drive to achieve my goals? Nowhere to be found, obviously. Not gonna lie, this was honestly one of the darkest times of my life. The job was extremely exhausting and I'd come home every night just to sit in front of my computer screen wasting away watching YouTube shorts or sitcoms or whatever I could find online until I'd go to bed and do the whole thing over again. I had little to no drive for YouTube. I had a few goals that I might as well have thrown in the garbage. Ugh. I had absolutely no social life and I was simply just chasing small bits of dopamine overtake and I just felt like I was trapped in my own mind with no hope of escape. That was until I woke up in the middle of the night one day and just prayed. Life had thrown me a lot of curveballs, but I was now able to finally hit them back for once. I had saved most of the money I made on the job, so I decided to quit my job and go full-time into YouTube. Which brings us to the present day. Some of my friends and family will see this, and I'm totally fine with that. I'm done cowering at the batting plate. It's about time for me to hit some home runs. I have a lot of plans for this channel, and I can't wait to show you. And one of my goals is to hit 200,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Yeah, that's pretty ambitious, but you know, I think we can really do it. You know the drill. Just subscribe. I have lots of other goals as well, such as a second channel that focuses more on my personal life, like telling you guys stories and updates on my life and things like that. Don't worry, I'll make that content interesting too, okay? I really want to make this into an actual career, and I only have nine months to do what? it. Nine months? Why? Why nine months? Well, I made a deal with my dad that if I can't sustain myself within YouTube by the end of this next school year, then I'd have to join the Air Force. I'm 
serious. No joke. So please spread the word. I need this to work out. Oh, I called this video the reboot because in a sense, that's what I'm doing. I love creating stories and it's one of my passions that I've had for as long as I can remember. Creating characters, writing a good plot, a menacing villain, character development, powerful emotional moments, suspense, joy, sadness, laughter, and so much more. I want to create stories that really mean something to people. It's something I haven't really done yet on this channel, so I am super excited to start again as a new person and as time goes on I will get better and better at storytelling so if you want to be part of something special this is gonna be special guys we are on the cusp of something great I'm telling you if you want to be part of something special before anyone else you know what to do um you know what I'm gonna tell you guys a secret I'm shortening my name to shadow once we hit 100k so bye nerds